Okay, so there's a couple of showings we're going to take a look at today. And we're going to pull samples off and send these in for an analysis. Um, we're going to be prospecting over a couple of days over this area, so we'll probably just post everything in one video of what we find. And uh, let's take a look at the first showing. So you can see you have a mineralized vein here. Uh, that's definitely sulfides in a quartz vein and uh, you have some calcite on the outside and it's hosted by schists. So we found the contact zone where these two types of rock meet. It's about 20 feet to uh, your left and we've checked that to see if there's any mineralization there. We couldn't find anything but uh, there is a couple mineralized areas here, which we're uh, going to sample. Yeah, it's definitely pyrite. Maybe there's minor calcopyrite in there. This is a quartz vein here. So we'll take a sample off this. Um, try and get some more of the solid mineral in there. Sample from side to side and uh, see what we get out of that. Alright, so here's the uh, second area where you can see uh, pretty heavily oxidized rock. You can see some sulfide staining in there. This is, uh, it's only 10 feet away from the last showing. So uh, we're going to hammer away at this and see if we can find anything worthwhile to sample. If there is, we'll include the assay results at the end of the video. You got some more uh, pyrite mineralization right there. Doesn't appear like there's too much though. All right, so here's a piece we pulled off from the first vein. You can see, again, it's mainly pyrite mineralization. Uh, this is attached to quartz and a little bit of schists. So we're gonna pull more of this off and send this in for an analysis. All right, here's a piece we pulled off from the second showing, which is 10 feet away from the first one. And again, we'll remove more of this so we can get a more uh, definite sample. We'll send these in for an ICP analysis and probably do a fire assay for uh, the gold. All right, so that's the uh, first showing right there. And if you take a look down here, it's actually exposed um, on the ground here, so you can see it continues down. So I'll expose a bit more of this and uh, include this in the sample. We'll take the sample over about five meters, see if there's anything good in that. Alright, so we uh, have a nice looking quartz fan right here. Doesn't look like there's anything on it, but... That is a good indication that there could be mineralization present. It's a fairly big vein. It continues quite a distance. Again, the host rock appears to be fairly schistose, but there's some basalt in there. Anyway, we'll keep poking around and see what we can find, and if there's anything good, we'll uh, sample it. Alright, so we're just at a new showing here. 
this uh, area has mineralization as a form of disseminations um, as well as solid mineral veins you can see right there you got some mineral right there this whole zone of uh, mineralization is about 50 meters wide so we're going to take a look at everything in here um, and the one spot where we're really interested in Again, you got more mineralization right there, right there. There's a small little vein coming down along there. Got more there. So this right here is what we're mainly interested in. This is solid mineral. Looks to be uh, pyrite with uh, calcopyrite. You can see how it's heavily oxidized here. So we're going to definitely remove a sample from this and uh, see what comes out of that. That's well, really nice looking mineralization there. So we're gonna chase this and uh, see how far it goes. It dives down under an old logging road and could possibly extend into the, the overburden there. So about uh, 30 meters past that other zone of mineralization, you have more host rock and then it comes into contact again with your schistose rock. There's some feldspar in here. Uh, some quartz. You can see again more mineralization uh, in the form of calcopyrite and pyrite. So there's lots of uh, mineralization as disseminations and there's also little blebs as well as uh, right there you can see a vein. So we're going to take multiple samples from this area and send them in uh, because there's lots of decent mineralization all over the place. Okay, so you can see here all the sulfides amongst those uh, schists in there. A lot of decent looking mineralization. So we'll see what uh, comes out of this as well. So you got some more uh, disseminations there, along there, a lot more along there. You got a little more found as disseminations on that wall there. So uh, yeah, we'll post all the assay results for all this at the end of the video, and uh, hopefully it turns out to be pretty decent. All right, so we're just out uh, doing some prospecting. This is a continuation of uh, yesterday's prospecting trip. We're uh, looking at this mineralized house outcrop here, and uh, you can see there's another solid mineral vein, similar to the one in uh, the last video. So this continues all the way down and uh, widens as it dips down underneath the ground. So uh, we're going to sample this one as well. The same results we're uh, thinking are going to be similar to the last one. But uh, we'll all say it and send it in. Do an ICP analysis and see what we get out of that.